what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh today we are going to bash this guy we're gonna do an unboxing a bash uh just have fun talk about it do an overview of the truck uh rusty's here with me again today okay. he brought the badass mojave uh we're not doing a we're, we're not doing a versus video just yet um, I want to see what this truck can do, tune it a little bit, and uh, go from there and kind of get some initial impressions. And uh, then, oh, of course, we're going to compete these two against the 4S as well. Uh, you know, do the whole Mojave Wars. If you haven't checked out that playlist, go check it out. It's uh, me and him having a good time beating the shit out of trucks for your entertainment. There we go. So, let's do this. The Max Slash. Dun, dun, dun. Give you guys a peek at the box real quick before we tear her open. This one here is the blue. I really, really, really wanted red, but I would have had to wait like another month. So I went ahead and did the blue. There it is. Nope. Got our instructions and all that good stuff. Let's pull that out. But ow. Not gonna mess with you guys. I had it open once. We opened it at the hobby shop to kind of look it over. Man, I'll tell you what though, it's a lot prettier in person. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. On to our bag of tools and goodies. I went ahead and pre-cut just to make it easier. Got our basic tools, wheel wrench, couple of hexes no one's ever going to use. This is important. Do not lose this. If you decide you're only going to run one battery, you got the two terminals. You need to plug this in the other terminal or your truck will not operate. All right. We got some number stickers, which I'm going to gripe about this. Yay, numbers. Who gives a shit, okay? What happened to the days when you'd get a whole big old sheet of Trax's slash stickers and torque and this and that and all that stuff? I paid $700 for this truck and these are the only stickers I got. Alright, warranty card. Stuff about the ancient remote. More goodies and yada yada yada. Hey, more stuff. Buy their stuff, yada, yada, yada. We got our quick start guide. Anybody who's ever had a Traxxas knows pretty much all these guides. They've been doing that same formula for a while, but it's good to have. Information is always good. And we got our exploded views and all that good stuff, too. So, yeah, that's that in a nutshell. Where the heck are my stickers? What a beautiful truck. All right, there's a little clip system underneath here that you gotta do. And this pulls right off. Pretty much just look for this and this. Put your fingers in there and pinch the clips. And on the back here, it'll be these plastic pieces. Underside of the body, we have our radio. <sighs> and would you look at that? Another 1920s classic Traxxas top qualifier radio. And that's what the inside of the body looks like. You got your cage system. You got your clips. All in all, it's a sturdy body. Anybody that's owned a Slash, this is pretty much the same situation. Just has all the little extras, cage and all that stuff in there to help... Uh, keep it good to go. We got a 6S system with a 6S ESC. Good old VXL. So we're going to make sure that our warranty stays good. So I went ahead and had some adapters made for my battery so I don't have to cut the ends off that guy because we all know these ain't the most reliable in the past. Maybe they've fixed them. Who knows? We got our tried and true servo that they've been using for a while now. Hopefully that holds up. I never had a problem in my Max. Big old body posts here. Kind of neat. 
I just hope this thing doesn't bounce off every time I hit something because I know my max body didn't like to stay planted too often. Of course, you know, taking some of the impacts that thing took, I guess, is the way it goes. Uh, blue anodized shocks. Uh, this is pretty common for Traxxas. Well, it looks like I got a big old scrape in that one. Somebody failed. Oh, well, it is what it is. I'm going to beat the crap out of it anyways. Anyways, so if you get the blue truck, the rock and roll truck, uh, most of the time, you know, you're going to have blue here. But if you get the green body truck or the red body truck, you're going to have the matching shocks. So green body, green shocks, red body, red shocks. We got these new belted tires. These things are hard as heck, man. So it ought to be interesting to see how they do in the air. Some pretty cool looking rims. Got the wheelie bar in the back. Hard plastic wheels. We got the lift kit there. And the underneath of the truck is a lot like the Max as well. It's got our A-arms. Our nice center brace down this chassis here. Skid plates. All the normal goodies. Alright. So... With some uh, primitive, ancient technology, I was able to make my 3S batteries fit in here. I don't advise you try this at home, so you didn't get that tip from this channel, but uh, we're going to fire it up and see what it does. Hopefully this holds up so I can get you guys some 6S runs. Uh, unfortunately, I only have two, two uh, 3S batteries for this. I don't have any 6S uh, batteries. Uh, so I have more 4S batteries, which would actually fit. So we'll see what it can do on 6S and 4S, but uh, this is what we're going to do. So, first time turning it on. Get you guys see the steering servo a little bit. And uh, we're going to slap the old shell on. Let's rip. Woo! Had to do the obligory kick up some rocks on me shot here. Oh, Rusty's already breaking it in. Whoa. <laughs> well, she rips on success, no doubt about it. Um... So far, she does get squirrely, but actually not too bad. Not as bad as I was anticipating from everything that I've seen and watched. A little bit of control goes a long way as I, you know, hit stuff down there. Popping a wheelie. Yeah, she does get a little squirrely. Them belted tires in this kind of terrain. Whew. Oh, gonna kick it sideways. <laughs> Donut time. Oh. <laughs> and then lay together. Oh shit. <laughs> I will definitely say these are some grippy tires but they kick out on you real quick if you're not using some throttle control
It's easy to get squirrely in this thing. That's why I let off that gas. I was like, I know I'm gonna hit. I have a good habit of hitting stuff out here. Stuff I shouldn't even hit. All right, we're gonna do this anyways. All right, this thing gets squirrely real quick, so. Oh. All right, we're gonna do our usual three, two, one, go. All right, you guys ready? Cause I'm gonna get some rocks here. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! <laughs> We're all over the place. Oh, saved it. <laughs> all right, Rusty, I want you to take this thing for a spin and get your first initial impression on it. Me. Oh, this, is hard. this is hard going from a Mojave to a Traxxas. It's gonna be tough. But yeah. I got, I got my mind open still here. Yeah, yeah. My first initial uh, impression, here, I'll let you have the camera real quick. Let me tuck this uh, back in. My first initial impression is it's actually a lot of fun, but it lacks the control that my 4S Mojave has. Yeah. And it definitely lacks the control of the 6S. Huh. I this think that could be the tires. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's a lot more squirrely. For sure. I can full throttle this and keep it in a straight line. Yeah, this is... Yeah, it's very, very hard to control. Very squirrely. Very squirrely. Now, I think on pavement... Pavement might be better. Yeah, because those are... Uh, those... I don't know what footage I'm getting, but... Yeah, it's... Um, you tap the front screen on that camera, it'll yeah. back up. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's different. Now, one thing I'm going to try in the future video is I want to put these tires from the Mojave on that Traxxas because I think that'll make a huge difference. It probably would, yeah. Oh, I have no left steering. Oh, there it goes. Had a rock in there. Same thing happens on my 4S. Oh, I'm telling you, man, that thing is a ripper. Regardless if you're a Traxxas fanboy, a, Moha or a Mojave, Arma fanboy, you know, you got to admit, both trucks look good, but man, that truck right there is a fucking beast. I can't wait till I get my ADA system for it. Oh, man. One thing I want to say to the viewers, um, we're, we're both actually looking for other places to run besides the old graveyard here. Uh, but around here we live in pretty much cornfield country, lots of flat land, lots of boring places. So we take what we can get. This is on 4S, guys, uh, so here we go.
right for that tree. There we go. All right, well, for obvious reasons, uh, 4S is a lot more controllable, although I do keep flipping it a lot more. Uh, I think it's because I'm giving it full throttle as I'm trying to turn. But it's definitely a lot uh, more controllable in 4S. A lot less power you gotta deal with. But, as you can also see, a lot more slow. Again, stating the obvious, but... Sometimes a little slower and more control is a lot more fun. Just my honest opinion. Thought we were gonna kiss. Oh. Well, uh. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I don't think so. It'll buff out, right? It'll buff. Oh, I lost it a little bit there. Oh, almost. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, hey, we're matching now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Whoops. Who would have knew hitting yourself with an RC car would be so much fun? <laughs> I got reflexes like a cat, baby. <laughs> a really, really big cat. <laughs> oh, man. I always end up on my lid. Brotherly love right there, huh? Ah, that happens. Oh, I don't know where I was going. I don't think the truck did either. Oh yeah, flipped her. Good drive-by. Woo! <laughs> Nothing like a little game of tag. Little red versus blue on that one. I'm gonna go jump that tree. All right, sounds like fun. Man, you almost hit that damn branch. I don't think I got the oomph to do that. Nope, it's just too squirrely every time I try to get that gas going. <laughs> Definitely can't get this amount of air you're getting though. Oh yeah, oh I thought you were gonna land on top of me. Oh <laughs> there it is. Oh I really love this truck. You know, I have buyer's remorse on a lot of stuff. This thing, if I was gonna buy a Basher, you know, anything, it would be this or a 4S, Arma, you know, Mojave. That'd be, it was a bottom line. It is the best truck ever. I mean, I just beat the crap out of this thing and it just keeps coming back for more. So. I gotta second that, guys. Uh, the Traxxas is nice. It's not bad. 
But for value, right out of the box, that's a clear winner right there. Uh, hey, did I lose a tire? Uh-oh. My Max, uh, regular 4S Max had that same problem. Look at that, guys. 4S. Lost the wheel nut and the little black clip that goes on it. Oh, hey, found it. Don't know where the wheel nuts at. That's probably long gone, but uh, I do have a spare. All right, guys, a little act after action report. This was after one 6S run and one 4S run. Um, as you can see down in there, it does not block dirt or nothing. That's expected for kind of what we're doing, I guess. So yeah, there's a lot of debris in there. Um, and as you can see on the video, I lost my tire, which used to happen on my regular Max a lot. Luckily, I was able to find this little guy, but I did not find the wheel nut. I do have a spare in my bag somewhere. So it's not the end of the day, I guess. But, uh, it's a little chilly. A little chilly, yeah. Anyways, my initial thoughts is it's an extremely fun truck. It's squirrely as hell, I'm not going to lie. Um, it definitely needs some tuning. I think a lot of other videos would say the same thing. Uh, different set of tires, maybe. Maybe these tires are really good on pavement. Um, is it worth $700? That's the biggest question. Yep. That's the question. It depends on who you are how deep your pockets are are you a traxxas fan are you an arma fan what you know in my opinion my i'm giving my 100 honest opinion don't shoot me <laughs> if you want the best bang for your buck for short course i think he would agree yeah for sure you don't have to do a funky battery strap setup and all this other crap to get your batteries to work you got a nice strap system it handles better it's got more power in my opinion so sorry if i hurt any feelings but not sorry that's just the name of the game that's right so anyways thanks for checking out the video um i will be hanging on to this truck for at least a couple more videos until i decide i need something different so uh <laughs> maybe um anyways thomas if you watch this this thing's in pristine shape no i'm joking yeah uh, <laughs> So anyways, uh, like I said, thanks for checking it out. Um, hit, hit up the playlist, uh, Mojave Wars. We're going to be doing a lot of bashing together with our Mojaves, sure. with this guy here too even. And uh, it's going to be fun. You get to listen to us bullshit and just enjoy ourselves. So come along for the ride. All right. Oh, and I just hit 700. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate the heck out of that. Shooting for 1,000 by August. Let's do this. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. Peace.